Eric DaCosta, everybody thinks that he's sitting back ready to just match whatever the heck Lamar Jackson gets. Do you think that's the case? I do not. I, I do not think it's the case. I think he looks at it all. I think, look, I think he's in a, in a, in a really good spot, to be honest with you. And I think he'll, I think it's going to settle where he's going to be settling for that. What, what was it? 32, four, right. What's the number? I, I just think it's going to end up that way. And I, I don't think there's, I don't think he's going to have to worry about stepping up the match. Why? I just, I, I just don't see, I, I guess the way it is right now, I just don't feel like there are teams out there that are chomping at the bit. There's a lot on the plate. We've talked about this before on and off record. I mean, you know, it's this, I mean, have you guys had a lot of discussions, by the way, on the collusion stuff? I don't well, know if we want to get on that later. No, no, no. Go ahead, go for it. I mean, we I, I hear that all the time, you know, that, that word being thrown around. Um, and I, I don't know if all the owners have gotten in a room, you know, um, or on a Zoom, an encrypted Zoom, and said there is not going to be another soul on this screen giving a contract out similar to what Deshaun Watson just got from the Browns. Um, uh, but I just think industry-wide, nobody liked that contract. Nobody liked the contract. Nobody liked the guy who, who got the contract because of the circumstances surrounding um, right. Watson. And, and I, I think most front offices despise that contract with a, a thousand furies. And, and then Kyler Murray gets uh, 180-something million guaranteed. Not all of it is a guaranteed contract. Russell Wilson gets a new contract. He doesn't get everything guaranteed. So those are two in the case right there that are not the same case as Cleveland. And you could, you want to call that collusion? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it, the, the contract was so dis widely despised by everyone that I don't know if anybody really wants to go in that direction. Is that simple? Yeah, I don't. Or what? It's, I know, you know, go back and forth on whether it's collusion or not. What we do know categorically is no team wants to be agitated by their next deal, right? And to think about a deal that has a, you know, the entire deal being guaranteed is an agitation, whether it's, you know, behind the scenes or not. I mean, that, that's a really complicated place to be as, a, you know, I'll speak from a general manager's perspective and, you know, from a, from a team perspective. That's a lot guaranteed. You, look, you can bring up the Atlanta Falcons. Why are the Atlanta Falcons not interested? Yeah. I think there are many, many layers to that, Rich. I think, you know, not only is it, the idea that they are just getting through what they considered cap hell. Uh, some guy that used to be there was responsible for that, <laughs> uh, ostensibly. Well, there's a long story to that. We'll have we'll, we'll talk about that another time. Right. Um, but but the fact is, they're getting out of that. You know, they need their draft picks to be doling out. You know, two first round draft picks and all of this money. I just feel truly that this organization in Atlanta, where I'm standing right now want to move beyond that. They want to start building. They, you know, now they have a quarterback situation, which is why we're at, we're talking about this that is very complicated for them right now. You know, Tyler Heineke's not coming out there into Atlanta and just being the savior. We know that. Now they're sitting at a spot in the draft that they could potentially pull another one. They had one from last year. I think there's a lot ro rolling that way. Also believe back to you, you bring a guy like Lamar in. You're talking about a different system. I alluded to it earlier, right? Talking about coaching in a different way. That's another complication. I just think in the end, they want a fresh start. And that's, that's my opinion why I feel they're backing away from this in Atlanta. But you also know the man that used to sign your checks is a very, you know, dynamic uh, individual, you know, uh, uh, a, a, and, and, and makes his, his thoughts known. I honestly thought Arthur Blank might sit there and go, this is what a major move this would be for, for me, for us, for this city, for the franchise. Brady's gone. Carolina's going to, you know, draft a rookie. Uh, New Orleans just starting with a new quarterback. You know, first oh, overall I, pick yeah. this year and next. And I, I know it's a large chunk of dollars, but hey, Arthur Smith, you did wonders with uh, Ryan Tannehill. How does Lamar Jackson sound to you? Like, you don't think Arthur Blank is sitting there having those thoughts for a moment oh, or two? There, there is no question, Rich. You're exactly right. I've been in so many of those conversations. I mean, up and down the line as far as Thomas, what about this? Smitty back in the day. My, you know, Dan Quinn back in the day. Like, we, we had all of these conversations. He was the guy. 
as a really adept businessman who was always throwing out those those thoughts, and, and you had to think about them, and you couldn't just sit there and go uh, to your, you know, yourself or to the group, uh, yes or no. I mean, you had to have a strong reason. The one thing I do know, as I've heard more and more, I mean, Arthur Smith is a good football coach. Arthur Smith yeah. has done good, good work with the run game there, which we struggled to do, quite honestly. I like what he's doing that way. Arthur Smith is a very strong, opinionated guy, and he's got a strong presence with Arthur. So I think they sat down and had some great conversations. But in the end, I mean, I'm giving this to Arthur Smith, and I'm giving it to Arthur Blank. He's listening to Arthur, and I think ultimately it is Arthur Smith's call, not Terry Fontenot's, and I say that respectfully. I think he's making the call, and I think they're looking other places. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.